We are back with video 13 and today's ETF is VYMI. In this series, we are looking at 30 separate ETFs as well as any ETF that you suggest in the comment. We're taking a look at these ETFs and trying to determine how much of each of the ETF we need to own to be able to hit $1,000 a month in dividends. Today's ETF is VYMI, Vanguard's International high dividend paying ETF. We're going to head over to their webpage and try to determine what they are doing to be able to pay us this high dividend. We're going to head over to Seeking Alpha on step three to be able to nail down a solid dividend yield number, a yielding number that we feel comfortable with putting in our calculator that we have built to be able to show us how much VYMI we need to own to hit that $1,000 a month. And then we'll take VYMI and compare it to an S&P 500 index fund. Over on Vanguard's Wimps, over on Vanguard's website, VYMI, it is their International High Dividend Yield ETF. The expense ratio is 0.22%. And what are they doing to be able to pay you a high dividend yield? Well, first off, they seek to track the performance of the FTSE All World U.S. High Dividend Yield Index. It provides a convenient way to get exposure to international stocks that are forecasted to have above average dividend yields, as compared to VYM, where most of the stocks are simply in the United States. And it also employs a passively managed sampling strategy. Over on Robinhood, we take a peek at what the holdings uh, look like inside this ETF. And the XSWX is actually on the Swiss Stock Exchange. The XFRA is actually a German Stock Exchange. And this XLON is, I believe, the London Stock Exchange. So many different stocks on various different stock exchanges. So we can't click on these links to see each individual dividend yielding number, but we can take a peek at the Royal Bank of Canada, probably listed on the New York Stock Exchange. That's why it's listed on Robinhood. Take a peek at their dividend yield, and it is a 3.82%. Over on Seeking Alpha, let's take a look at what it, their actual dividend yield would look like for this ETF. Right off the bat, the 12-month trailing yield is 5.34%. So let's see if that is a common number or it's artificially high or artificially low and we're not we just want to make sure we get a good picture. So taking a look at their 5 year dividend payout history, it looks like there are some ups and downs, but over the past year and year and a half it looks like they paid out quite a decent dividend yield back in 2021. First quarter of 2022 was a little short, but last quarter in June of 2022, it appears to be their highest paid payout over the past five years. Let's take a history look at uh, the, the trailing. Let's take a Let's take a look at the dividend yield over the past five months, uh, at the daily trailing 12-month yield. See what it looks like on a daily basis. You can see it spiked up there as the stock market crashed. The price crashed, so the dividend yield artificially increased. But as the price started to come back to normal levels, you can see that it started to go down. And then as the dividend yield started to go down, and then as the stock market rebounded and started to hit some highs or peaks after the pandemic, the dividend yield artificially went down again, and then it started to climb again as the stock market went down, and so far it has settled around a 5.5%. So on average, we're going to put in our calculator a number somewhere between 4 and 5%. We'll choose 4.5% to be on the safe side. So coming over to our compound interest calculator, this calculator is put together for, and it tells us a lot of different things, but we're simply looking at one thing. We want to know how much VYMI we need to own to hit $1,000 a month. Simply type in the ticker symbol here. We determined 
4.5% dividend yield is a fair number for VYMI. Expense ratio of 0.22%. The growth and contribution numbers are something else uh, that we're not focusing on on this video. But if you, you would like to play around with this calculator, I do offer this calculator over on Patreon for the growth and contribution portion. Simply just put it in a monthly edition what you expect the cumulative annual growth rate to be, if you want to reinvest dividends or not, and what an initial deposit would be, and your age, and you calculate over the course of 10 years what a portfolio would look like and what the income would look like over the course of 10 years. But down here is what we are looking at for VYMI, how much dividends per month for VYMI, 266000 to hit that $1,000 a month in dividends. So let's compare VYMI versus an S&P 500 index fund. Over on Portfolio Visualizer, we're going on a month-to-month -month comparison or basis as far back as we can. We're going to start with $500,000. We're going to reinvest the dividends, no new monthly additions, and we're going to display the income at the end of the page. Clicking Analyzing the Portfolio. You can see graphically that in the red, the SPY S&P 500 index ETF outperformed VYMI on a large basis. That is with the dividends reinvested. And just a real quick number comparison, VYMI about 4.7% growth per year, SPY around 12.7% growth per year. If you started with half a million dollars, starting at the inception date of the newest fund, March of 2016, you'd have 675,000 in VYMI and 1 million in SPY. And again, this is with dividends reinvested. If we were to remove the dividends and pay ourselves, let's see how things would shake out for either funds. Again, SPY is still going to outperform quite significantly. Taking a look at the numbers, if you were to pay yourself with VYMI or SPY, you'd have a small, slight growth with VYMI. And with SPY, you would still have about a 10.73% growth in this time period from March 6, 2016 to the present. So how much paycheck or how big of a paycheck would you be receiving with VYMI down here over the course of the last six to seven years you can see it peaked in 2021 so with half a million dollars you would receive around twenty six thousand dollars or about two thousand dollars a month So that concludes this video for VYMI. You'd need around $260,000 of VYMI to hit that $1,000 a month if you expect the dividend yield to stay around that 4.5% figure. Head down into the comments. Let me know if there's another ETF you'd like to add to this list if you don't see it. And if you want access to this calculator, it's available on Patreon. And with that, thanks for watching.